Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog and welcome to another declutter video. I'm going to be decluttering uh, like many things this season, I hope. Uh, so I'm going to uh, declutter my lipsticks now uh and my lip pencils so so far you can only see my lipsticks here we're going to do the lip pencils afterwards uh and uh, i'm hoping to get rid of quite a few of these because honestly i don't really use that many lipsticks so yeah let's start so i'm going to start with one of my top three uh, lipstick brands uh, and it's huda beauty so i have four of uh, her lipsticks here these are the, her matte lipsticks you can see the colors so as you can see these are quite dark uh, but they are quite like muted as well so this is joyride dirty 30 first kiss and wedding day uh, these are gorgeous especially if you have as you can see they're quite uh deep um, they are perfect if you have medium to deeper skin tones uh, if you're medium like me uh, these are quite intense on your lips or it can be quite intense on your lips uh, but if you are like uh, if your skin is a bit darker then these are going to be perfect kind of like nudie shades uh, but they are so pretty so obviously I'm going to keep them uh, so I have four of these matte, matte lipsticks here and then I have two of uh, her cream lipsticks. So this is Sweet Cheeks and Honey Bun. So these are more of a cream formula and uh, they are more kind of comfortable on your lips and also they're not so dark. So if you have lighter skin tone, I guess these lipsticks are much better uh much better suited for like all skin tones rather than uh the matte ones which are you know just more intense and a bit darker so yeah i'm keeping these two as well so as i mentioned before i have three favorite lipstick brands uh, so we're just going to continue with those first uh so as you can probably guess uh charlotte tilbury is uh one of my favorites as well i have quite a few lipstick uh, from uh her range so i have four of these like kind of like a fancier um packaging ones uh, and this is, let me just show you, this is Nude Romance. Then we have uh, Walk of a Star. That's, that one's a little bit darker. Uh, this is Amazing Amal. A little bit darker as well. Uh, and uh, then we have uh, Red Hot Susan. This one is actually beautiful, kind of like this brick-like red, very pretty. So obviously I'm keeping them all. I don't think I'll be decluttering, decluttering anything from Charlotte Tilbury, to be honest. Uh, but this is just the beginning. I'm definitely planning to declutter quite a few things. Then I have two of those like thin lipsticks here. So... Uh, we have Pillow Talk Diamonds and Lucky Diamonds. And these are more kind of casually looking uh, lipsticks. I mean, I'm just going to show you. This is pretty much like, um, not very pigmented, but quite like sparkly. And uh, here's the other one. Yeah, that's how they look. They're perfect for like a very casual wear, like if you don't really... Uh, fancy wearing thing, wearing anything uh, very pigmented. Okay, and uh, then we have some more lipsticks over here. So let's have a quick look at what we have here. So we have a very Victoria. So this is the shade. Uh, it is pretty. I think everything from Charlotte Tilbury is just uh, beautiful and kind of designed to make you look beautiful. So there are no crazy colors in here. We have Catwalk in here. This is one of the newest additions to my collection. Uh, then we have uh, the Duchess. This one's actually pretty cool. It has these kind of like little diamonds here. And that is the shade. Uh, pillow Talk. So this is the classic Pillow Talk. I also have Pillow Talk in... Uh, yeah, Pillow Talk Medium. So that's the one. It's a little bit deeper. Uh, there's also like more intense version of Pillow Talk, which is I think P Pillow Talk Intense. And I do like the fact that they create uh, this lipstick for like, pretty much every skin tone. Uh, then we have Stone Rose, it's this one over here. And then uh, the last one is Walk of uh, Shame. So there's that. Oh, and I almost missed that, but I also have this kind of mini lipstick here. Uh, this is Glowing Gen. And it's like a little mini. And this is the shade. And the last of my favorite lipstick brands is MAC. Uh, again, you can probably guess, uh, judging by the number of lipsticks I have. Uh, so 
there's definitely one I want to declutter here. So let's see if I can find it easily. So let me just show you what I have first. So this is work, work, work. And that's like a really pretty matte red shade. By the way, I do feel like I have too many red lipsticks. So I will be decluttering, decluttering some of them, but uh, we'll see. This is Avant Garnet. And this is, this is actually beautiful. One of the newest lipsticks in my collection. Uh, this one here, Joie de Vivre. There you go. Not my usual color, but I kind of like to have something like that in my collection as well. This one is Honey Love. Then we have Devoted to Chili. Oh, this is one of my favorite uh, uh, kind of red, uh, red, red shades. It's quite like warm. Um, I like it. Uh, next up we have Whirl. Then uh, Reverence. Oh, this is actually, this is something I'm not really sure whether I should keep or not. Uh, this is not something I feel really drawn to. I don't really feel like I kind of want to use this lipstick that much. And I don't think I've ever tried it. I think I swatched it and that's it. Let's have a quick look. I mean, it is pretty, but I just don't really seem to use it. Also, it's like a very nice formula. So do you know what? I'm just going to put this on my maybe pile because I definitely need to check it out a little bit more and see if this is something that I'm going to be uh, using or not. Because uh, if I'm not going to be using it, there's no point of keeping it, right? Okay, Ruby Woo. So this is the lipstick I'll be getting rid of uh, because as much as the shade is actually really pretty, the formula is, it's just not that great. Maybe it was great like, I don't know, 10 years ago or whenever it was released, but uh, I have so many more red lipsticks that are just better. Uh, this one is quite drying. I don't really love it. So this is the first lipstick I'm getting rid of. Okay, uh, let's continue with MAC. So here we have Shocking Revelation, which is another red. See, I have like so many reds and that's just MAC. Uh, there are so many more brands here and so many more red lipsticks that I definitely don't need my Ruby Wood. This is Twig. And we have uh, three more from what I can see. Velvet Teddy, a classic. Seems like everybody loves this shade. And then we have Chili very similar to uh, the other shade I have devoted to chili, but I really like this shade, so I don't really mind uh, having two lipsticks in a very similar shade. And then we have syrup, and there's that. So I'm keeping uh, these lipsticks over here. So quite a few. There's one that went to my maybe pile, and one I'm um, decluttering. Okay, next up I have uh, four lipsticks from Ila Masca. And uh, I like the packaging. They are pretty much all of them, or three of them are red, from what I can remember. Let's have a look. Uh, but as I mentioned before, I have too many reds, so I feel like we're going to do some proper decluttering here. So this is Antimatter Lipstick Rocket. So there's that. I'm just going to swatch it just to see how uh, similar or different they are. So this is more like a very cool toned red. Uh, by the way, the formula of these lipsticks is not as amazing. I mean, I have lipsticks that are so much better and still red. Uh, this is Antimatter Midnight. This is much more of my alley. Oh no, it's actually, I thought it would be a little bit warmer than it is, but yeah, I mean, it's okay. And then we have Antimatter Asteroid. So this is the third one. Yeah, so this is probably the most me kind of shade. But as you can see, I mean, they're not like super creamy. They seem to be a little bit drying. And I think that was my experience when I actually used them. Uh, so I think I'll definitely be decluttering these three lipsticks, all the red ones here. Uh, and then we have, this is Ultra Matter Fiction. That one is actually quite interesting. I do really like these kind of dark shades, but I don't know. I mean, uh, let me do this. I'm going to declutter all three red um, Ilamaska uh, Ila lipsticks. So they're just going out of my collection and uh, I'm going to put this one on my maybe pile for now because I do feel like I have quite a few dark lipsticks uh, in my collection here so at the end of this video I'm just going to 
walk through all my dark lipsticks again I mean the ones that uh, will end up on uh, the maybe pile and then decide whether I should keep them all or just go rid of them get rid of them okay next up uh, we're going to have a look at these two uh, these are Pat McGrath lipsticks and they are so pretty aren't they uh, and the lipsticks I mean the shades are pretty as well uh, they're not my favorite uh, lipsticks ever but I'm going to keep them anyway so this one is Elson and this is the shade so as you can see yes it is pretty but um yeah pretty uh, a red lipstick that i'm probably going to uh, keep uh, mostly because it's pat mcgrath uh and this one here this is flesh fatale uh, blitz trans lipstick and this is the shade the shade as i said very beautiful but i just do prefer formulas of like other lipsticks uh more than that still i'm keeping these two for sure uh okay this this is ola neon uh in shade love me and it's pretty but i don't think i'll be using it i have so many more lipsticks that uh i don't i just don't think i'll be using it i don't think i've ever used it so i'm decluttering this one uh, same with uh, this one here. This is Zodiac uh, lipstick by Spectrum. You know, the Spectrum brand uh, that uh, produces the brushes. And I mean, the shade is really pretty. Uh, just looking at it, uh, it does seem very pretty. But I just, this is just not something I would just put on my lips and feel comfortable. It's very kind of like metallic. Uh, so yeah, not really my thing. So I'm decluttering this one as well. Okay, what next? Um, Natasha Denona, the only Natasha Denona lipstick I have, and I'm keeping that one. Look how dark it is. It's really pretty. I do like uh, lipsticks uh, that are uh, that dark, uh, so obviously I'm keeping that one. Okay, uh, this one, L.O.V. Um, this is in shade Extrovert, a matte lipstick in shade Extrovert, and this is another of those kind of like deep dark lipsticks are uh, kind of like a burgundy or uh, more like aubergine i'm not really sure how to describe this color but um i definitely don't need uh that many of those uh so um yeah i'm going to declutter it i liked it when i first got it but uh since then i've like my collection grown so much that i don't really think i need it so i'm getting rid of that oh this one is actually really cool this is uh by aunt gretel uh Tagarot uh, and the shade is Dahlia and this is really beautiful uh, that's the shade and that lipstick feels super comfortable on my lips so I've, I'm obviously keeping that one so next up I have uh, these two Guerlain lipstick these are in shade uh, 42 and 20 I don't think there are names uh, of those lipsticks here they are quite similar but they do look different on my lips. Uh, these are more like a balmy kind of uh, lipsticks. As you can see, they're not like super pigmented. They are perfect for like everyday use. See, one of them is more pinkish. The other one is more orangey. Uh, they are quite pretty and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely keeping them. Because, uh, you know, first of all, they are pretty. And secondly, they are by, they are by Guerlain. So why not? uh okay what do we have next i have one lipstick from max factor and this one is in shade pink brandy uh i do really like this color so i i am going to keep that one see that's like a very kind of flattering uh shade of red i'm going to keep it uh this one here that one is so pretty i will just keep it just for the packaging because it is so cool so this is uh satin mac matte lipstick in shade i think sext and this is hank and henry i think that's the brand like a little kind of owl here and you just press this button here and this is how it looks and look at that <laughs> this is just so pretty uh so yeah i'm keeping that one and next up we have something from p louise here and this is a birthday suit um I haven't used it yet. It, it is very pretty. I mean, uh, the whole lipstick looks so pretty. I'm not sure if this shade is going to be good for me, so wait, I'm not really sure about that. But you know what? I feel like I should put this on my maybe pile because my maybe pile looks very sad at this point. There are only two lipsticks there, so I'm just going to put this one on my maybe pile and uh, maybe it'll mo motivate me to use it a little bit more okay so we have two lipsticks from uh, victoria beckham and this is 
sway and the other one is mod so let's have a look as you can see uh, they both have a very kind of like a neutral uh, pretty shades this one is a little bit darker but that's you know very kind of classy shades they feel very comfortable on my lips so i'm going to keep them both okay uh so what is this this is bella pierre cosmetics in shade envy and i don't think i mean it's pretty isn't it but i do feel like i have these shades already somewhere in my lipstick a kind of collection and i've never used it so yeah i'm just going to declutter it because i just don't honestly don't really need that many lipsticks in my life uh, okay what is this this is um estee lauder uh pure color in shade insolent plum so this one as you can see is quite dark uh, and i did mention that i have a few of those dark kind of lipsticks and you know what i want to keep one of them only so this is going to my maybe pile and it, in the end of this video i'm just going to decide which one stays okay because i feel like i definitely don't need that many of those uh what is next what's that um what is this brand okay this is by suku and this is bright up lipstick um I'm not sure what shade that is. And this is a very kind of like a uh, nudie shade, quite pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. And uh, then we have Elizabeth Arden and this is Iced Grape. So this is probably going to be quite dark as well. Uh, it is dark, but it's not as dark as I expected. Mm, still. I think this is going on my maybe pile and I'm just going to keep one of uh, those lipsticks. Oh, this one is actually really cool. This is Urban Decay, the only Urban Decay lipstick I have. Uh, this one is in shade um, Accident Metalized. Uh, and there's that. I really like it. So obviously I'm keeping it. Uh, mm, what is that? Pericon MD. So this is more like a lip uh, balm um, with some color to it. It's actually really pretty. Uh, I have been using it quite a lot um, over the summer, so uh, that's uh, that's actually quite cool. This is no makeup lipstick, so this is going to give you like this very natural kind of flash of color. So I'm keeping that one. And then we have Laura Geller, and this is brilliant. I think the shade is brilliant. It is pretty again, but I just you know I'm not a massive fan of like Laura Geller products, so. I don't know if I'll be using it or not. I'm just going to put this on my maybe pile. Who knows? I might just try it out and decide that I like it. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, Laura Mercier. Uh, this one is in shade L'Orange. And this is, this is the shade. It is quite interesting, isn't it? It's something that I wouldn't probably be using quite a lot. It's very summery. Um, but I want to keep that one. So, this one is going to my keep pile. Then we have a Revolution, and this one is in shade Ruby. And it is pretty. And I never used it, and I don't think I will be using it, so I just don't need another red lipstick. So this is going to my declutter pile. Uh, let's have a look here. Diego Dalla Palma, and this is, I think, Il, Il Rosetto. That's probably a shade. Again, very pretty. Again, I don't think I've ever used it. And do you know, I have so many like nudie lip colors. And whenever I want uh, something that looks quite nudie, I would just go for Charlotte Tilbury. That's my first choice. So yeah, I mean, I have to be strong. I'm getting rid of that one too. Oh, these are actually really pretty. These are by Uoma. And uh, this one is Tina. And I do love that shade. This is so pretty. It says badass here as well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is a really beautiful lipstick and uh, it actually feels very comfortable on my lips. And then I have a smaller version. This one is in shade Maya. And that is this. So yeah, I'm keeping these two. They're actually really nice. Okay, so I've realized that I have quite a few NARS lipsticks. So let's just um, have a look. So the first one is Dolce Vita Sheer. So there's that. That actually looks really pretty. I'm just going to, I don't really have much space on this hand, so I might actually have to use the other one. That is actually a really pretty, pretty color, so I'm going to keep that one for sure. Uh, then we have Orgasm Satin. Okay, uh, I think I used that one, but I'm not sure if I like the color. It's like a very orangey kind of pale 
shade. It does remind me of the blush, uh, their famous blush. So I'm not really sure if it's something I should, or that would look nice on me. I think I tried it and I don't think I was super happy with it. So um, for now, I'm just going to put on my maybe pile because it definitely does not deserve to stay in my collection like that. Uh, and I just need to think about it a little bit more. Okay, next up we have Rose Cliff, and this is again satin finish. That one's actually really pretty. Yeah, I like that one, so that one's staying. Then we have a uh, Toled satin. Quite pretty as well. But you know what? I mean, I feel like, I mean, yeah, this is a very pretty color, but I'm not really sure about the formula. It does feel like they're quite dry. Hmm. Do you know what? No, I'm just going to move these two smaller lipsticks to my maybe pile because I'm not really sure. I feel like the formula is not what I kind of want them to be. Uh, so I am going to put them on my maybe pile and then we'll decide. I mean, if not today, we're going to, I'm going to make that decision in the next couple of months. Uh, so uh, there we have like two other lipsticks here and this one is again Orgasm, but this is Afterglow Lip Balm. So uh, this, as you can see, I've actually used quite a bit of that. Uh, this one is actually quite cool. Uh, it's like a balmy formula, so obviously I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is this is cool. And then we have Dragon Girl. And uh, this is Power Matte Lipstick. And I haven't tried it yet. I mean, it's not even touched, so let me just have a quick look. Oh, that formula actually feel, feels really nice. I'm not sure if this is the perfect uh, red shade for my skin tone. Uh, it's quite uh, cool uh, toned, but... Um, I'm going to keep it for now because I, you know, haven't tested it yet. So I feel like it needs more time to be tested out properly. So now we're going to check these three lipsticks out. These are from Lipstick Queen and that brand used to be like super popular at some point. Uh, but uh, I don't know, I did have quite a few lipsticks uh, from them and I did the clutter most of these. So I'm left with these three over here. This one is probably the most popular one, which is Frog Prince and... It's green, <laughs> but it does change the color on your uh, on your lips uh, to something like something pinkish. Uh, but I'm not sure if I like the result. I don't, I'm not sure if I like how it looks. Uh, I feel like maybe if you have like bigger lips, you can kind of it just looks better. I'm not sure. I think this one needs to go on my maybe pile, and I need to test it out properly and see whether that's something that I kind of want to keep or not. A very similar situation with this one here. This one is small, but it's like a morning sunshine. So this one is yellow, but you can actually see that it changes the color to like uh, this kind of like a peachy shade. So same thing. It's just going in my maybe pile and we'll see. This one is in shade Medieval and uh, it's a little bit different because this is pretty much what you get. You get like a very kind of balmy finish, um, uh, but the color is actually pretty and uh, yeah, that's how it looks like. Uh, I'm still not sure if this is something that makes me look particularly good. So yeah, maybe pile as well. I just need to kind of test these properly uh, once again and see if this is uh, something I still want to keep. Okay. Uh, then we have Estée Lauder. I think we had something from Estée Lauder already, uh, but this one is in different packaging. This one is um, in shade Insist Matte, and I really like it, so I'm going to keep that one. This is also amazing formula, like a very kind of creamy, uh, really comfortable on my lips, and I love the packaging, so this one is staying. Uh, then we have, this is Elizabeth Arden, the shade is Red Door and it is pretty and I just don't think I need it in my life. I just don't. Yeah, it's like a very cool toned red. I'm just, I'm going to the clutter it. I feel like almost bad because, you know, some of those lipsticks, the brands are really good and I mean, I haven't really used them that much, but at the same time, I kind of need to be reasonable, you know? There's no point of keeping something I'm not going to use. Okay, we have some Dior lipsticks here, two of them, from what I can see. So this one is in shade uh, Exuberant Matte. Ooh, that is very pink. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't really have pink lipsticks, so I'm going to keep that one, mostly because it's Dior and because, yeah, it's pink. I, I'm not sure if I'll be wearing it. I'm not really not sure. Um, okay, maybe pile. I can't. I know it's Dior, but I just don't know. And then this one is no idea what shade that is. Uh, I think I got it like that from possibly 
look incredible and this shade uh, is actually very much up my alley so i'm going to keep that one for sure i'm not sure I'm, what i'm going to do with the pink one i'll see i mean I'll, I'll try and maybe create a makeup with like a pink lip and see if that's something i feel okay about next up we have tarte uh, this is um lip sculptor uh, so this is lipstick and lip gloss in one uh today i'm just doing like lipsticks i'm going to do lip glosses and uh, liquid lipsticks in a separate video but this one since it's like both i decided to include this in uh, this video this is in shade kind and that's how it looks. Uh, I like it. So obviously I'm keeping this one. And also I love the fact that we have a lipstick and a lip gloss. So if you want to have this more shiny finish, then you can actually use both um, of these. Uh, okay, uh, next up we have something by Lancome. And this is Exotic Orchid in a cream finish. Again, you kind of press this point here and it kind of opens like that. And the shade is stunning. So I'm obviously keeping that one. Uh, okay, do you know what, like while doing this uh, decluttering, I kind of realized how many nice lipsticks I have and I just don't use them that often. So this is Clé de Peau, uh, shade Crystal Star and it's actually very beautiful, uh, very underappreciated, not uh, used as much as it should be. So I'm keeping that one for sure. Hopefully this declutter will help me with kind of like seeing what I really have in my collection. Uh, so next up I have two lipsticks from Givenchy, uh, like one of them is like a full size, the other one is a mini, this one is in shade Mandarin Bolero. Uh, as you can see the packaging is actually really cool, it has these two kind of studs here, you just open like that. And uh, this is the shade. I really like these kind of orangey reds recently, I think they're perfect for summer uh, and uh, this lipstick actually feels very nice on my lips as well. I do have quite a few of those but again, they are slightly different, uh, and by those I mean the orangey reds, uh, but they are slightly different and I really enjoy that color, so I'm going to keep this. And this one, if I remember correctly, is it like a proper red? Uh, I'm not really sure what shade this is. I'm not really sure, honestly, it doesn't really seem to say properly, but it's like a really da dark, deep red, and I'm just going to swatch it here. Oh, I like it, I like it. So yeah, this one is staying with me as well. Okay, next up we have some Hourglass and this is one of those lipsticks I kind of um, accidentally ignore in my collection. That's why because I have too many too many things, you know. Uh, but this shade is actually really pretty and I definitely want to use it a little bit more. I'm keeping that one. Uh, then we have uh, Laura Geller and this one actually, I mean, I did mention that I'm not a massive fan of Laura Geller, but this lipstick is actually quite cool. It's more like a lip balm, but it has some pigmentation to it. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one. It's actually perfect for summer. Uh, then we have Boxum, and this is uh, one of the newest addition to my collection. This is Sinful Cinnamon. I really like the name. And this is the shade. It's actually very pretty. I like the chunky kind of lipstick here. So yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that one for sure. Uh, then we have another Lancome lipstick, and this one is drama matte i'm i'm just kind of guessing it's going to be red it's red yeah i'm just just not sure if i should yeah it's again more like a neutral kind of toned red but i don't i just don't need it i'm just going to get rid of that one too i feel almost bad but at the same time yeah i shouldn't uh next up we have laura mercier this is new preferé uh this is the shade uh, and um, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it again. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be using it. So this one is also going on my declutter pile. Uh, and I think the similar story will be will be with Marc Jacobs. Uh, I've had it for a while. This is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is um, quite a popular color. Uh, but I just, oh no, that one is actually really nice, look. <laughs> okay, I kind of thought I would declutter it, but now that I'm testing it, it, I really like this kind of dirty pink color, so I'm going to keep that one, surprisingly. Okay, so we have a uh, very few uh, lipsticks uh, left. Uh, we're going to do the uh, lip pencils in a moment, but let's just continue with those. We have, this one is shade lolita but i'm not really sure what the brand oh this is kvd okay i don't really know why lolita it doesn't really doesn't really make much sense does it because this is quite a deep browny kind of shade i like it though i'm going to keep it 
Um, then we have Rowan, and this one is in shade Stella. And this is pretty much a lip balm. You can also, you can almost see like this is almost like translucent. So this is not going to have pigmentation or much pigmentation, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, then we have two Surat lipsticks. And uh, one of them is in shade Club Set. And then the other one is in Englantine. So let's check this one out first. That's like a deep, dark brown. Uh, very kind of chocolatey, so oh, I just don't have much space on it. Yeah, that's going to be quite cool. I really like this uh, color in my on my lips. And then this one here, this is more like a nudie one. So let's see. Ooh, it's not that nudie. It's actually quite deep. Okay, no, I actually like these two, so I'm going to keep them. And the last uh, from this pile is Fenty Beauty. And this one is uh, in shade Mademoiselle. And ooh, I like it, but I never used it. Can you see? Like it hasn't been even swatched from what I can tell, but let's let's watch it now and let's see. Ooh, that's going to be, <laughs> but that's going to also feel very comfortable on my lips. It's very, it's very kind of creamy. Uh, so yeah, I like it. And that one is a stain. Okay, so let's move on to the lipstick, pen li lip pencils. I just realized that I have one more lipstick here. I didn't I didn't see that before. This is Charlotte Tilbury uh, Romance Kiss. And this is actually really weird. It's like a very kind of sticky kind of lipstick. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, this is... The shade is pretty, so... Mm, but it's sticky, you know? It's like, you know, like you put like lip gloss on your lips. I'm going to put it on my maybe pile. But I'm not sure if this is something I'll be using. Um, I have this Clinique, um, this is Chubby Stick, uh, in shade Super Strawberry, and I just don't think this color suits me that well. Uh, I've had it for a while, I'm decluttering it, for sure. Uh, this one, I like the color, this is Honest Beauty, shade is Marsala, and the shade is actually really pretty, but look at that, I mean, it's all dirty. The problem I have with it is whenever I have this in my bag, in my kind of like a small cosmetic kind of bag that I carry in my main handbag, uh, this always opens and kind of like makes everything dirty and even though I do like the shade it's actually very annoying for me uh, to use it so this is the shade it is pretty but I just I feel like I get too frustrated with this product to even be bothered you know and it's also dirty and it just doesn't look good so yeah I'm just I'm just going to get rid of that I do I'm pretty sure I have things that will be in a similar shade somewhere uh, Okay, uh, this is quite a uh, interesting thing. This is Wonder Beauty Lip Setter, uh, dual lipstick and liner in shade Flirty in Fiji. And this is actually a very good idea. So we have this lipstick here and we do have a lip, lip liner. So everything is in one product. The shade is actually really pretty. So definitely something I'll be keeping. See, so this is how it looks. Okay, as you can see, I have quite a few NARS products here, and most of them are either red or nude kind of shade. Uh, I do have some of my favorite products among them, but some of them are definitely not needed here. So let's have a closer look. This is uh, the one I really like. This is in shade Train Bleu. And this is like a really deep, dark lipstick uh, or like lip pencil. But the only problem I have with uh, Nara's lip pencils that are quite drying on my lips. So that's not necessarily something like super amazing, but the shade is nice. And if you put some lip gloss on top, then it kind of works, you know? Uh, so I'm going to keep that one for sure. Uh, similar situation with this one here. This is in shade Spike. I really like that color. Um, so I'm going to keep that one. Uh, same thing with Dolce Vita, a really pretty kind of like a um, flattering shade. And then we have Cruella. Uh, this is my favorite NARS red uh, lipstick, but this is really pretty. And then we have two other reds and this is Dragon Girl and uh, Famous Red. And I just don't feel like I need more red lipsticks. Uh, I do really like this Cruella shade uh, of red this one here so I don't feel like I need these two in my collection so I'm just going to get rid of them uh, plus they are quite drying so I feel like I, maybe I should probably use something else instead of those so I'm going to get rid of them and then I have those three kind of nudie like lipsticks and these are in shade expiry then this one is a uh, Rick I'm not really sure how 
how to pronounce it. And then this one is in shade Good Times. And this one is quite new, I feel like, uh, but mm, I don't know. I'm not, I'm going to swatch it here so that you can see. Um, do you know what? I'm going to put this one, since it's quite new, on my maybe pile. And I'm just going to get, ri get rid of these two. I feel like, uh, you know, I don't really have like massive lips. So uh, these just don't really make me look any prettier. I just prefer to either go with something uh, that's like colorless or very nudie or like deeper colors and this is more like a pinky -ish kind of shade and they just don't really they just don't do me any favors um okay uh, we have two nude sticks uh here this is lip and cheek pencil i just did not i never actually put this, these on my cheeks so i don't know uh these are in shade bell and purity let's let's have a quick swatch that one is actually really nice and that it does uh, seem quite nice on my hand so hmm, i might keep that one let's have a, a look at the other one it's on purity that's actually really pretty too but they are quite similar right i mean the purity is a little bit deeper than this one but i just don't know if i need both of them uh do you know what what i'm going to do i'm going to put these both on my maybe pile and i'm just going to play with them both and i'm just going to keep one uh, towards the end of uh, i mean within the next two months i'm just going to keep only one of those okay four more uh five more uh this is laura mercier uh dominate and um i'm not i don't i can't really remember the formula of it yeah, it does actually feel quite nice. Uh, it's not probably going to be as drying as the NARS lipsticks, but it's like a very cool toned um, red, which I'm not sure if I need something like that in my life. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to declutter it. So yeah, that's going. Uh, then we have two Rodial uh, lip pencils, and this is uh, Suede Lips in shades uh, Power Play and Calabasas. So I'm just going to start with this Power Play, which is obviously red, because you know. And this is actually quite nice. It's quite dark. I'm not sure how it will feel on my lip. I think I must have used it, but like, you know what? I have like so many of those that I just kind of get lost uh, in decent times. So I'm going to keep this for now. I'm going to keep this and uh, we'll see. And then we have this one over here. So, oh no, that's, no, that's not really my shade, is it? Like, I don't really see myself wearing it. Okay, so I'm getting rid of that one then. Okay, so the last two, we have Laura Mercier and this is uh, in shade Jolie. Pinky, pearly pinky shade very creamy feels very nice on my skin but do i want this shade in my life i'm not i'm not really sure do you know it's something that i mean i don't want to offend anyone uh, because this could look beautiful on some people but this is the only kind of thought i have about it is that this is something my grandma used to wear she loved that kind of like a pearly pink color so i'm not really sure how i feel about that uh but i'm just going to put this in my maybe pile yeah and we'll see i might just give it a go once or twice and see and then the last uh, item in this declutter is this Buxom uh, Restricted Lip Liner. Uh, and I think the shade is actually quite pretty. So we have this liner, which is a bit broken. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have this liner on one side. Yeah, the shade is actually really pretty. Uh, so there's that. And then we have this kind of like a brush on the other side. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep that one. I like it. So I'm going to keep that one and that is everything let me just quickly go back to the maybe pile now and let's decide what i'm keeping and what is staying on this maybe pile okay so this is my maybe pile uh i ended up uh, putting uh, three dark lipsticks over here so one of them is uh, the uh, ila masca one uh, but these are quite drying so i think i'm going to quite easily get rid of that one so this one is going on my um the clutter pile then we have these two this is elizabeth arden and the other one is estelle laudet so let's swatch them and let's decide so this is the estelle laudet one it's actually lighter than expected hmm it's 
little bit more purpley than I than I thought. And then this is the Iced Grape by uh, Elizabeth Arden, and I guess we have a winner. This is this is just so much prettier. So this one is staying with me. Uh, the, the Elizabeth Arden one and uh, the Estee Lauder is uh, going to be decluttered. Okay, so just to sum up, this is my uh, maybe pile. I'm just going to put these aside and in like, uh, let's say two months time, I'll just get back to you and tell you which product I decided to keep and which I decluttered. So, and this is my declutter pile and I quickly counted how many products I have in here and it's 23 and I just don't like that number. I think it should be like 25. So I'm just going to add a couple more products from my maybe pile. Uh, I feel like mm, this lipstick queen um, morning sunshine, I think, I don't think I just like this kind of like a peachy uh, shade that it gives uh, so I'm just going to declutter that one and I think this NARS Good Times uh, lip um, pencil that wasn't that amazing so yeah that gives me like 25 products I have just decluttered I I think that's a good number what do you guys think let me know what you think about uh, this uh, lipstick declutter and about my whole collection. I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty-related content, check those videos on the screen. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.